For more than two months, WNBA All-Star Brittany Griner has been in a Russian prison after she allegedly tried to bring vape cartridges containing hashish oil into the country. Around 75 days after her arrest, Griner's case shifted on Tuesday as the United States government now considers her to be wrongfully detained. Here's what you need to know about Griner's case. Griner has spent her entire international career in Russia since 2014, earning over $1 million per season, more than quadruple her yearly WNBA salary. She was detained at the airport when a search of her bags found the cannabis cartridge. Griner has yet to be officially charged with any crime, but is scheduled to have a hearing on May 19th. Griner's detainment is particularly difficult because of Russia's ongoing brutal war against Ukraine. Griner may be viewed as a powerful asset to Russian President Vladimir Putin, and she may be a hostage in response to America's sanctions against the country. Griner's support system and the U.S. State Department had kept a low profile on Griner's case until this week to not make her even more valuable to Putin. It's unclear what exactly led to a change in Griner's status. The shift does mean the U.S. will no longer wait for Griner's case to play out through Russia's legal system. They will attempt to negotiate her return to America. The United States changing Griner's status as a wrongful detainee doesn't mean Russia has to or will change its viewpoint on her arrest. It does mean America considers any Russian legal action irrelevant. It also means that several groups, including WNBA players and support from other parts of the U.S. government, can bring as much attention to Griner's case as they want. As the WNBA season gets underway this week, league officials said they would have floor decals with Griner's initials and her number, 42, on the home court sideline of all 12 teams. Thanks for watching and stay with Deadspin.com for more.